Okay, so every now and again, I'm going to look at a uh, wad from the front page, not just requests. I will get to all your requests, but I want to do a couple new, like new, 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 new ones, like just came out today. And this one's by a uh, pickle in disguise. And let me tell you, dude, you're not fooling me, okay? You're going to put your family portrait up as your profile picture, and then you're going to say you're in disguise. I didn't even I, I, I didn't even know pickles can make wads, so we're gonna see what this is like. So let's open it up here. He says this is four maps that are like mid tier difficulty and that free look jump and crouch are expected. So let's see what this is like. Ultra violence. All day every day. So I like how you tried to make trees here like this. That's clever. I like, uh, okay, here's something that you don't see a lot. That is something actually that I do a lot of the time is, uh, all right, wait a minute. Let me start this over. I, I screwed this up. Hold on a minute. Because I was busy making observations. Okay, so see these flats as walls? I like doing that myself. I think that's a really fun thing about, um, I think that's one of the best things about being able to make a Z Doom format map is the uh, ability to use floor flats as a wall texture. Because you can get, excuse me, I'm sorry, so much more creative with that. Um, however, I do, they stick out like a sore thumb, this texture alignment. Um, yeah, you don't want to have that. Like, that's really blatant. Um, but it's okay. I mean, like... Even Doom 1 has its share of texture misalignments, you know? But if you, you know, you got to kind of look for them. So I'm just saying, and try to make sure you align your textures like this. It makes it look more realistic, more, bleh, more realistic too, like it's a solid piece of metal, like a solid wall. Um, you got like a blue lighting thing going on here. I never figured out how to do that. So. Alright. So we got barrels back, random barrels back here. Nice. Fucking destroyed him. Um, what's back here? More guys. Uh oh. Okay, that was a good idea. You, uh, opened the walls and pinkies came out. Nice. But I have another tip for you, by the way. So hold on. Let me get rid of these guys. I have a tip for you about a situation like this. Um, if you're going to have hit scanners and uh, either pinkies or projectiles in a small confined space like this, you want to make sure that you put the hit scanners in front of the pinkies or projectiles. That way, when the hit scanners go to fire at you, they don't end up infighting and killing each other before you get the chance to like actually you know engage in the entire fight it's just a way to make it more like more challenging you know to make sure that you end up uh getting the most out of the encounter i have nine percent health and i'm playing like crap that's my own fault so okay here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start taking cover behind these trees Kind of helped. Okay. So I think this is supposed to be like a chair, which is cool. It's like a couch. Stuff like that reminds me of the guy on Doom 3 when you first get to UAC. And the guy's like, I gotta get off this rock. You should too. I can quote that whole game, man. Just about. I like the part where you get into the freaking, uh, the part where you got to guide the dude with the light through the dark hallway, and he's like, hey, the lights are all out. And it's like, you don't say. What's next? Hey, we're on Mars. No, -uh. Okay, so this is going to be, uh, we're gonna name this one Pickle Rick. Riri. Okay, uh. 
fucking guy trying to act like he's not a pickle. Like, dude, it's okay, all right? It's 2021. If you want to identify as a pickle, I'm okay with it. I tell my friends all the time, you know, I identify as a cup. I don't know what that means at all. I just pulled that out of my ass right now. Um, okay, so we got, like, a little chair with a desk. Is that a, uh... Hey, it's expected. Is that a, uh... Wait, well, there's an easier way to check this out. Okay, yep. So that's pretty cool. You figured out how to do that. I've never figured out how to make a 3D floor. I've never figured out how to do that. Then again, I still just use Doom Builder 2. I don't even use Ultimate Doom Builder. I tried it once, and for some reason, I just wasn't comfortable in it. Um, okay, so we got these guys in here. What? What the? What? Oh, it just auto saved for me. What that? What? What? What happened here? What is this? Wait, let me do this again. Oh, okay. I guess it only works once. That's that was strange. I've never seen that. I've seen like teleport line deaths in Z Doom, obviously, but I've never. I didn't know what that was. Here's the map. I think everybody makes a helipad at one point in their wad. Everybody does that. Okay. Grab this. Now we grab some more chain guns. Open this door. Is that a secret? Hold on. I want to know if that's a secret or not. Yep. What is this? What did I do? What did that do? What would that do? So uh, I'd say this is the only time that it's okay to use a switch that you don't know what it did is if it's a switch that's in a secret area that opens up something. I want to find out what that did. Now you got me going. I want to know what the hell that did. You got a missing texture right here. I don't mean to nitpick. I'm just letting you know. Um... What is that? Is that a door? Did, oh, wait a minute. Is that a real door? Wait, hold on. Maybe that's what that did. No. I don't know. I can't figure it out. That was a good one. The start. Up top. This really does remind me of them beginning of uh, underhauls, though. It's like almost the exact same. I mean, it's not. I'm just saying it's like with the with the guys facing away from you like that, and I don't know. I, I guess if you're seeing what I'm seeing, I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, what do we got in this one? Forty-six monsters, one secret. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Alright, so we got walking pink sock. Alright, don't put... Well, is this... Can I get around? Okay. So, okay, uh, here's a tip that I like to tell people. Let me get that lost. So, don't put uh, pink socks behind... Um, walls like this because I'm just going to take pot shots at him and there's nothing he can do about it. Alright. 
So now we got a red key switch. Um, got guys in here. Got some custom crate textures, that's nice. I'm always down with some custom stuff. I believe he was uh, stuck in the wall, or uh, sometimes platforms have to be a certain size for demons to actually walk around because they need space for to actually turn around. Their hitbox needs space to turn around in. So if you put them on too small of a platform, they're gonna it's like a collision thing. They have nowhere to turn around, so they have to. They only stick in one spot. They could still attack, I think. Um. Okay, so where do I go? Okay, I got red key. That opens that. Okay, like this is just this is an obvious oversight, but I don't even tell you what's going on there. Whoa. Oh, we, oh, this is oh, we got deep water. I I learned how to make that one time, and I forgot how to do it after I did it, and I've never been able to do it again. Like I said, the only reason I really use Zdune format is to use flats as walls. And because you can, uh, I think there's a couple line def actions you can do that you can't do in normal Doom format. I can't remember exactly what. All right, John Goodman. Nasty fucking pustule. Pustule. Bruce Willis. You know, it's funny. Hold on a minute. This is kind of fucked up because it's like a tree made out of wooden planks. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> like a Frankenstein tree. Let's see here. What is this? Got this guy. Is that all you put in here? Nah, something's going to go off. I know it. Oh! Wow, man. Okay. Uh, nope. You do you, but I would have put like a lot of guys in there. First base. Okay, so this is number three. Down to three percent health again. It's me, man. I'm always on low health. Crap. Sorry, I'm just concentrating on this battle. Um... Yeah. Let me see here. So we got some guys here. I guess it's supposed to look like a door that was already opened, unless the monsters opened it and I didn't see. But then again, the monsters can't open a an S1 door, so... As far as I know. I mean, maybe they can in Z-Doom format. I don't know. I haven't... I don't know. So we got pinkies, and then, okay, so now what? Whoa. He made it, wait a minute. All right, hold on a minute. Wait. I just realized that, like, I'm scrolling with my mouse wheel, and these weapons are, like, instant change. Wow. Usually he's got to lower it and raise the other one up. I've never, I've never seen that. Uh, 
a tiny ass bed. This is an orphanage. Clear out these rooms like SWAT. Making sure I I don't want to go through the same door twice. Alright, lost souls out. Is there any secrets in this level? Two. Any in the, I don't know. Not much for secret hunting all the time. If I come across them it's cool, but I'm not gonna go out of my way all the time to find them. Okay, so we got a little uh, thing here. Wow, really? What the fuck? You guys saw that, right? It took me like five shots from a super shotgun to kill that guy. Holy shit. Oh, 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 crap. Okay, wait. Is there a secret somewhere here? No. Okay, wait. Corridor of pinkies. You got the right idea. But if they're directly in front of you and they can't get you from, and there's like nothing blocking you from behind, and the hallway's really long, it's not as effective, but I see what you were doing. Got these guys. Okay. So now we. Okay. Wait. Ooh. Hey, I still got bit, so obviously it worked on some level, right? Better than having them all in like a big giant open area a million miles away from me. When people do that, that's when it's the least effective. You know what? I should save those for the shotgunners because there's plenty of, I mean chain gunners because there's plenty of shells in there. And at least get the drop on a couple of them. Shit. Nope, save those. Because if I got the chain gun, I can at least get lucky with pain stunning those chain gunners. So maybe it'll give me a fighting chance. Alrighty. Yeah, let's save here. See, this is what I meant. If I tried to take all those guys on individually, I never, I couldn't have, uh, I might not have won that fight. S going downtown. We're going downtown. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Got a loaded god complex. Cock it and pull it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, 
this was one of my favorite Doom songs growing up. It's so doomy. Like, I don't mean, like, in, like, the Doom video game. Like, it's just fucking really dark, and I love it. I think this was for, uh, E1M7. Not the... Okay, okay, well, you know what? I don't mean to be a dick, but we're just gonna do this. That was lazy. I'm sorry, though. I didn't have to do anything in that one. Okay, so we're now at the waste tunnels. So, um, I think you're off to a good start. Uh, you have a good idea of, I think, what wad building is. I think you, um, you've, you've, you've learned a couple of the mechanics of the game, such as, you know, keeping pinkies in tight hallways. Um, I guess, like, like I say all the time, you know, there is no right or wrong way to make a wad because in the end wads are art but um it's just it's just putting a a, wa a level where i don't have to do anything and the exit switch is literally like two feet away is kind of just cheat it's kind of just like oh well, let me throw this in and then post it and it's like maybe that's maybe that's not what you did and i don't think that's what you did but that's just the way it feels. But uh, I think that you did a uh, good job in terms of a first map. Or maybe not a first map. I don't know if this is a first map or not. But, hey, not bad. So, um, not bad for a pickle. And I got to tell you something, man. If you're going to sit there and try to say, you know, you're not a pickle, don't put pictures of your pickle family as your profile picture, okay? Because you're not fooling anybody. Bye, Mr. Pickle. Pickle. 